Fancy intro music, yeah! Hey there, Capslers. I know you're sitting there going, I'm broke! How do you have so much sweet isk, man? Well, let me tell you something. It sucks to be broke in real life, and it sucks even more to be broke in Eve Echo. So I'm gonna tell you how I made 200 million isk in two days, 48 hours. That's yes, I'm not making it up. I'm not lying to you. And of course there are people who can earn more, but I'm gonna tell you how I did it and how you could be doing it as well with your corporation. Now, speaking of corporations, maybe you don't have one yet. Maybe you're looking for one. Well, Revs Reavers is currently recruiting. That is my corporation. We are a pirate focused corporation working in low sec and null sec, but we're also friendly. We teach people the basics of the game and we don't go around, you know, ganking miners. Well, I mean, you're not going to make 200 million is mining in your venture trainer. <laughs> you got to come out here and play with the big boys. So anyway, and all the way, if you're wondering why there's an audit for 500 million, we're pulling out funds from the corp so that we can build our alliance. So if you're a pirate alliance or even industrial alliance out there or PVP focused, however, if you're friendly and you want to come hang out with us, maybe check out our alliance, which is launching this week. It's going to be a lot of fun. So when I said about the journey of making ISK, I decided I'm going to make a video where I talk for a minute and a half and tell you absolutely nothing. JK. Seriously though, and the, the grind for ISK is an eternal grind because we're always looking for ways to build better ships and, and we want better equipment. And, and you can see here in my item hanger from my main base, I've got a, a bunch just sitting here. And if you wonder what this little icon is, this green icon, well, what's that? That is simply basically saying I have a faction item. It's an item that's particular to a certain group that I've gotten from grinding out certain missions. And that is honestly how I make my living. I make my living two different ways, three different ways for being technical. Any type of pirating, whether it be ratting, which is simply a fancy term for killing those red anomalies and red hostiles in the game. They're, they're, they're pirates, so it's a term whether it's through ratting or through PvP. And we've had some really fun PvP experiences. For example, I mean, take some Venture 2s, load them out with attack drones and missiles, bring in three or four of your friends, and y'all just go hop from mining system to mining system, and like, hey, we're one big happy mining family. None of the other Ventures worry about you until, boom, you pop them. Your missiles shoot them in the back, and they're like, what is going on, man? And then they lose all their loot, and they're like, those darn pirates. You can have fun doing all this, but this is how you work on getting loot. Now, that's gonna help you get a lot of the ore and stuff that you need to build ships, but for this, how I made my 200 million isk in a 48 hour period was a combination of ratting, doing my encounters and missions and storyline missions in conjunction with selling stuff like this. And just to give you an example, let, let's pick an item. So we talk about these micro warp drives. I got one of these from a, you guessed it, anomaly, faction anomaly and I can sell it for probably well over 1 million. I might take it a little bit down for 1.25. Y'all know I'm a marketeer, so if you want a good good deal on a slightly used micro warp drive, hit me up down in the comment section below or on my Discord, link in the description. So you can get a lot of these items from farming, these rats, and even through PVP, if you kill a Caracal that had you know some really nice missile launchers, well, you can get these too. Maybe they're loaded out with some of these bad boys. Maybe you took on a stabber and managed to get a jolt medium strike cannon. So let's go to our encounters and explain some of the basics of how these work. So if you go to your news button, this is something that you need to be spam refreshing every 30 minutes that you're in the game. And what this is going to do is provide you different missions every 30 minutes. Now, the drop rate is random, so you might get what you're looking for, you might not. But you see right here, I have Freedom Extension Fleet under attack. It's a Mimitar mission. You'll notice the little check mark next to it, that's very important. So let me click on this just to show you what I'm talking about. So you can see this part of a very big tree called Angel or Devil. And you've probably never paid much attention to it, it's just a, a bigger mission. And you've just been completing these because you're looking, hey, 95,000 is, that sounds like a lot. A lot of you are actually probably scrolling down looking for these minor missions where you transport the pyro thinking that 250 isk is a lot. Hint, it's not. In fact, we did a mission Friday night where we took a group of our players, uh, six to eight of us, depending on what time it was, and we ground out a faction mission that paid me 90 million isk. Now, 15% of that went to the corp to you know go into fees and stuff, which I, I have no problem with. Our corp rate's 15%, but we're also paying for a lot of stuff and doing ship programs for new players, buying ships, building ships, uh, and helping out everybody. But you get to these storyline missions, and some of them pay out a pretty nice penny. You see this one right here that we'll be doing here 
probably tomorrow or the next day, 45 million ISK. Not bad, right? Well, to do that, you need to complete the prerequisites. So let me show you what the prerequisites look like. If you go over back into your encounters menu, there is a story tab. So let's just hit encounters, and then you look here, exit, go back, encounters, stories. So the stories are the culmination of all these little encounters that you'll do that all require a check mark. And each storyline has different missions they need you to complete. So for example, I focus on Kaldari and Mimitar ones because they're the closest to the reasons we typically live in. But I also go out and do Galente ones, which you can see I'm doing here. The only one I have none of is Amar because they're evil people. I'm not helping you out with your missions. All Amar should burn. So for the Mimitar ones, I am currently working on, as you saw the one right here, called Disaster Relief. So if we go back to our storyline, we'll see Disaster Relief is this one in the bottom left corner where I've already started going to recompleting the process. Every time you complete a mission, it tallies up and you get a check mark for that mission. Like you see here, I completed Freedom Extension Fleet, so I've got a check mark. So every time I complete, I can then hopefully work to all the missions completions and then I collect this one so I would collect for freedom right here and then what it does is it clears these three out to let me do them again so you're not actually limited in the storyline missions you can continue to complete these to get some pretty nice content and what happens is as you go through these storyline missions <coughs> excuse me you will get these hostiles that are elites that will drop faction loot like the jolt large auto can was from a elite hurricane from a t8 anomaly for the mission that we had to fight you look at the small gallows this was from a small uh, frigator destroyer that i took down that dropped a faction loot this gallows one and all of these are available the i have multiple you see nosferatus and just to Quick FYI, even if you don't want to sell them, look at how much stronger they are. You see this Nosferatu is a 9 megawatt power grid requirement, but a 39 uh, gigajoules transfer rate. Compare that to a regular Mark V small of 34. So yes, a slightly higher power grid requirement, but also drawing a lot more in terms of a power draw. And if you were doing more, for example, I want to show this real quick. So let's look at a Jolt Medium Strike Cannon, because I am a stabber, so I use strike cannons. And let's look at the DPS, 21.5, and then look at the optimal range, 1932. 21.5, 1932. Compare that to a regular strike cannon, better in both areas. So imagine having four or five of those compared to just a regular one. Already you're seeing better in it. You can also sell those to make some ISK, and I love selling those. Another thing to do, though, is a real quick shout out. We'll cover this in another video. I cannot lie, some of the money did come from doing Inquisitor and Scout Anomalies and selling certain blueprints that I would turn into those items. But that's another video. Most of the money came from the ratting and from the selling of items that were obtained in the rat. So real quick, back to the encounters. You would collect these and then go and take part in those missions. The easiest ones are going to be the little short ones. The ones that take three missions to get into. Kaldari, I think the shortest one is three right here for patriotism. Those are typically the easiest. The ones that have the most steps are going to take the longest route to complete but you can get a lot of these for good money and you can also buy these if you're not getting them to drop as you want you can actually go into the market and then as soon as it loads which right there it did on the left side you scroll all the way down to other items and look for mission items and that'll let you go straight to the missions and purchase them so what happens is somebody like me goes through and completes it and doesn't want to do it again or simply it doesn't have the ability to do that solo and they don't have a group handy whatever and they will post it so you could do for example for freedom for nine million the one that pays out 90 million that i did was called matar reborn if i'm remembering right and i can buy it for 24. So I can make almost four times just from the completion of Matar Reborn compared to what it cost me to just go buy it. Now, I don't necessarily need to buy it because I've already done it and I'm going to do it again through doing my regular missions. But having one of these missions up at all times is going to help you make a lot of ISK without having to risk your ships in PvP or simply not the boring state that is mining. Uh, shout out real quick to a couple of minor friends I have like uh, Bubba87 who streams on Twitch. He's a huge industrialist and miner. Don't see how he does it, but kudos to you, man. You are amazing for being able to sit there with three mining lasers, mine Spider-Man, and actually enjoy it. I'm impressed.
So hopefully this explained the basics of how encounters work and the basics of how missions and the storyline work to help make you some big, big money in the game. And the cool thing is some of the smaller ones, you really only need three or four people in decent cruiser loadouts. You sit there and kite them and you complete them in an hour or two and you get some nice money. Now, the other players, if you all bought these together, you can all go do them together. So now everybody's making money and everybody's getting loot from the wrecks that will follow. That's how I made 200 million isk in 48 hours with my group. And we didn't even need all 130 people in the corporation. We literally did it with six to eight people over two days. And then me riding the market. Remember markets, very important, very important. Don't neglect your market. Anytime you get something, you come down here and find out what it's selling for. Example. Um, let's see. I've got, uh, First thing, I got Mimitar cores. Now, I usually make ships out of these, but let's say you want to sell them. A Scout Anomaly, each one sells for a buck fifty a pop right now. If I did a level one Scout Anomaly, I'm probably going to get 10 of them. Or let's come up here, Core Defense Field. Don't want to actually, sorry, it's a one. I mean, you need the ones with, those are the ones I got from the loot. I've already sold all the ones I could sell. Uh, anyway, let me just pull up another, a, a large micro warcraft. We don't even have ships that can handle this yet, and yet they're already on the market selling for. 1.6 million. You literally, you can't even put these on ships yet. It's pointless, but you can still sell it. Get loot you can't even use and sell it. Now, eventually, this will probably be worth 10 million. But for right now, since nobody has a battle cruiser, you still make a million easy and go get another one. So that's how I made it. If you have questions, comment section below. Share this out with your friends, your family, your baby mama, your baby daddy, and any corporation that might need a little bit of help in how to do this. And Somebody might want to help me slow down and not talk so fast. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, live long and prosper, stay safe other space cowboys. And remember, shoot first. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah!